Firstly, I'd like to thank you all who have benefited, liked and commented in finding their fault in the car from my previous car video. And now I have a minor fault that's come up. So while I was driving, I kept on hearing a knocking sound underneath my car and I knew it sounded like the exhaust pipe and the engine light also came on too. So I got it ramped up and thank goodness it was just a steel plate that came loose. So I got that screwed in and fixed and I thought I ain't going to be paying £25 for a diagnostic check at the garage to find the engine fault. So I remembered my bro had an OBD2 car fault scanner which you can pick up the cheapest one for about £5 online. The OBD port location for the Honda Jazz 2005 model is here. Right, make sure your car has a 16 pin interface. Simply plug it in, make sure the power light is on. Switch your car on. Download and open the tour cap. Switch on your Bluetooth on your mobile phone. Slide down and click on the OBD2. Enter the pin either four zeros or one, two, three, four as it states. Click on the pin contains letters and numbers and then OK. Now go back to the application. Once I put my phone down on the acceleration, you can see the communication from the mobile app and the car. So we now know it's all connected and ready to scan. So previously we scanned the engine fault and found out that there was a problem with the EGR sensor. So at least now I know where the fault is. It will give you a code, so just place that in Google to find out what it is. So I had the engine light cleared and it's been over a week now, the light has not come back up yet. Maybe something triggered the sensors off, but I will still get it checked out. Definitely you need one if a problem does occur in your car, and you need to know what it is. I'll catch you in the next one guys, peace.